In this particular part of the season, which is usually pretty wet and dry, um, an awful lot of questions around broken chains. Um, I'm not sure whether it's just the chains have gone to the end of their life and they're crying help or what, but we've got a lot of broken ones. Um, so, uh, dealing with a broken chain on the side of the road, uh, the world of endurance that we're in, uh, online mainstream, uh, tends to lend itself to a huge amount of mileage and usually a lot of it by yourself. Um, so, uh, it's a common occurrence for people to be uh, stranded by the roadside with a snap chain for whatever reason. Uh, and the reasons are multiple. Uh, so today I'm just going to show you um, the way that we deal with chains in general uh, just so that we can take them off and on very easily. Should that be for cleaning, transportation or the fact that it has broken? Um, we're very fortunate we haven't had that many uh, broken chains but uh, it is a common problem. So what I'm going to do here today is demonstrate to you, and I've just taken the, this is an old chain here that I'm just going to show you. Uh, normally when a chain breaks along the road it looks something like this. Um, and as you can see the pivot is sticking out on one side. This side has broken off, it's actually lost the roller in the middle. There could also be a version where the link itself has broken half or whatever. But whatever version of the breakage is, it's in two halves. And the tool that we use to actually overcome this problem is a very simple little tool like this here. So I'm going to show you what they look like. Um, most people have seen them, but some of you may not uh, have seen them. And these are what they call a split link. Um, and they're like two halves of a link like this that actually interlock and, and pull the chain together. So what we do is, we run our chain with these and not the recommended pivot that the, the uh, manufacturer actually recommend, recommends simply for the reason uh, of functionality when you're on the side of the road by yourself and no service. Um, so we run our chains from the start with these but we also carry a second set which I would recommend that you do in your little tool bag. And in your little tool bag most people would normally carry a little chain extracting tool, pivot extracting tool like so, and this is a little tool bag one. So you'll have these two things. The third tool that some of you will have seen, and again some of you will not have seen, is a tool that looks like these. Now these are very simple little uh, split link, both uh, insertion tool and removing tool, and both of them work in opposite directions. One tightens to close, one expands to tighten and close it. So, these are not expensive tools. You can find these very, very, very cheap. Um, and what I would recommend is that I would carry the one for closing the link with a little elastic tied around it here inside your bag because that, the two little spread links, and that little removal tool will allow you to repair a broken chain by the side of the road if you're sanded on your own. It will also allow you to continue the ride. Um, so, what we do is, <clears throat> when the chain is broken, like I've just shown you, as you can clearly see, there's two very different types of ends on the chain. You have one with a pivot sticking out and you have one that may or may not have a roller in it. What we need to do is, we need to make the two ends look like this. We need two rounded ends, two roller ends like that. Uh, so you use your little chain tool like so to remove the pivots on either side to allow yourself to have two rounded ends. Um, and once you've done that, this is what they'll look like. Now, this is our own training bag, as you can see from uh, the weekend. And it's got pretty groggy, it was spotlessly clean before we went out. So, I've taken our split link that we normally run our chain on, which is this one, off, just to show you what it looks like. So the two ends should look like this. Two clear holes right through, two rollers face to face like that. And what we do is, we put in the little split link on one side, thread it through like that and hold it in. Get the other one, and you thread it through the other side, but on the opposite side like so. You set the two in, and as if you look through the pivot you'll see there's a rounded section and then there's a, a, a more oval section. The rounded section is where the pivot goes through on both sides. And because they're in equal places, they'll pull together quite evenly. Pull them into their place to hold them like that. And then you get your little tool that I, get, that I showed you. And you can 
insert it in here and it goes in like so it goes in behind where you put the link in and you literally just close it like a set of pliers and if you watch here closely you'll see it pulling into position and you'll actually hear it click like so that's the link into its place and that's your chain after you repair so it's you actually just insert it back on the ring again and um, put it on the so and you can continue on in your right so three little tools to carry with you uh, actually it's a one so the closing tool the pivot extracting tool and the split link are the three pieces that you need to have with you in your bag that will allow you to repair a chain by the roadside and that you continue your ride and not have someone to have to drive a long, long way to pick you up for those of you who are not familiar with the little uh, chain pivot extracting tool that we were just looking at there uh, I'm actually going to demonstrate how that works just in case you're not clear so what you've got is a, this is a little hand one that you would normally carry in your tool bag so this is a, an extracting worm that screws inwardly and outwardly uh, inwardly is to push the pivot out through the chain so what we're looking to do to, from a starting point of view is to turn it back to worm being dead level here now this is our demonstration chain again here so some one end of the chain will be uh, you know have either the barrel missing or the pivot hanging out so what you do is you insert it into the into the outer right the outer next this side here uh, and you screw the worm in until it aligns with the little pivot that runs through the center of the chain like that. Now, you should only have the damaged piece sticking out and this is actually to push the pivot out so you have to actually hold it quite rigorously and you've got to turn it. Now you'll hear the pivot let go like that. That's the pivot released and you can push it right through the far side like that until you see the pivot coming out here out through the extractor tool and that's it click that's it completely out so we go backwards like this the damaged bits fall off like so and you've got a nice rounded end and that is going to marry up with the rounded end on the other side of your chain and then you insert your split line